Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma ba' Ahabbati fillah Ahlul ilm The people of knowledge Ahlul ilm ala haq wa basira the people of knowledge who are on the truth and who are on Basira, that they have that insight and they have that hikmah and they have that wisdom and they give us guidance. They are a source of light. They are the Warath al Anbiya. They are the inheritors of the Prophets. And without Ahl al Ilm, that path would not be highlighted for us so that we would fall astray. And as the Prophet Sallallahu drew a line in the sand and showed and said, have a sabilu law. He said, this is the path of Allah. And then he drew one on the right and he drew one on the left. And he said, have he subu, that these are the paths. And on the end of each one of those paths is a shaitan who calls to it. And this is what we see from the people of Bid'ah and Dalal. And there are so many in this time and age. They've been numerous throughout time, but there are so many now. Now there are so many because we have access to the world through the computer, through the YouTube. And we have so many people calling to misguidance with thousands perhaps millions of followers calling people to Naam Wa'iyadhan Billah Min Dalika So this shows us Ahabatifillah the importance of those people of Ahl al-Haq and Basira and from those A'imma and it pains our heart tremendously for days I felt a serious pain in my heart and a love Lillah for this Sheikh Al Fiqi, Sheikh Abdurrahman Adani, Al Adani, Al Mar'i, who was Rahmatullah Alayhi the brother of our Sheikh Abdullah Al Mar'i. And that the Sheikh was recently killed by Ahla Takfir wa Ahla Tafjir wa Ahla Bid'ah wa Dalal those people whom the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam described during his time that they would appear after him Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam when he Sallallahu Rabbi wa Sallamu Alaihi said Al Khawarij Kilab al Nar. That the Khawarij are the dogs of the hellfire. These are the people who make takfir of the Muslims without the right to do so. They make takfir of them for the major sins. And this shows you to the level of Hizbiyya that some of the people, they will take your head. They are the people of Shar, that Hizbiyya has consumed their souls to where their opinion, their right, their motive, their position is greater to them than the sanctity of a believer. And greater to them uh, to blind follow their shaykh and their minhaj and their aqidah is more important to them than the life of Ahl al-Haq wa Ahl al-Sunnah وَعِيَادٍ بِاللَّهِ مِنْ حَعُوا اللَّهِ مُجْرِمِينَ مُجْرِمُونَ أَحَبَّتِ فِي اللَّهُ وَسُبْحَانَهُ وَتَعَالَى says في كتاب الكريم شاهد الله أنه لا إله إلا هو والملائكة وأول العلم قائم بالقسط لا إله إلا هو العزيز الحكيم Allah سبحانه وتعالى says and Allah bears witness that there is no God worthy of worship except Him. 
Allah bears witness to his own Tawheed, subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the Malaika and the angels bear witness. And the people of knowledge who are the propagators of justice, who are on justice. And then Allah says, La ilaha illa azizul hakim. Allah then says, There is no God worthy of worship except Him. And He is Al Azizul Hakim. This shows us, Sahaba Tifillah, that our ulama, because of their propagation of Tawheed, understanding of Tawheed, and their justice, their adherence to Kitab Allah wa Sunnah to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bears witness to their fadl and their greatness. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says to Kitab al Kareem, إِنَّمَا يَخْشَى اللَّهَ مِنْ عِبَادِهِ الْعُلَمَاءِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says to Kitab al Kareem, Verily those who fear Allah most from His servants are the ulama. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Fi kitab al-kareem, Yurfa'i Allahu al-ladheena amanu minkum wal-ladheena utu al-ilma darajat. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Fi kitab al-kareem, And Allah raises those who believe from amongst you. And those who were given knowledge different state, uh, levels. So our hearts are saddened with the loss of this great Imam who was one of the great students, one of the greatest and well-known students from Sheikh Mukbil, Allama Mukbil bin Hadi al-Wadi, Allah yarhamu. Our hearts feel pain at his loss. At the same time, we know we can bear witness that what we saw in this life from him was nothing but, but ilm, wa fiqh, wa deen, wa istiqamah, wa khlas, wa sunnah, wa salafiyya. And Allah subhanahu what, uh, what, uh, and, and the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, May yurid Allahu bihi khayran yufaqahu fi deen Whenever Allah wants good for a person, He gives him understanding of the religion. This is what we saw from this Imam. Allah ya humble. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Man salaka tariqan yal talmasuhu bihi almin sahala lahu luru tariqan al jannah the Prophet ﷺ said, whoever traverses the path of knowledge, Allah will make easy for him the path to Jannah. And when Lillah alhamd, I received many text messages when this event just happened. As some of our brothers that still reside in Yemen, in the Merkaz of Sunnah and Fiyush, were there to witness his actual shooting. And he contributed and he told us what he saw. And many of the Tulal al al the Thaqat there mentioned what the Shaykh's day was like, his last day, tafsir after Fajr, after every Salat, busy with Durus. And that he was walking, it is said that he was walking to Dhuhr, Salat al Dhuhr. And he had tafsir Sa'di in his hand. And that he pointed to this truck. And the truck had some criminals in it. Shayateen from amongst the mankind. And they began shooting at the Shaykh. One, as the person, one of the brothers who washed his body, may Allah preserve them all, said, it shot the Shaykh directly in the heart, also I believe through his chin, and among other 
places in his body. And it shows what we've always witnessed for those who've had the opportunity to go to Yemen from the Mashaikh there of Ahl Sunnah is they do nothing but busy themselves with Adam and Dawah and Allah. This is what their their Shaykh Imam Muqbil bin Hadi al Wadi, alayhi alhamdu, part of his wasiyah and what he used to do and what we have witnessed from many of the Mashaikh there. The Mashaikh in the north, like Shaykh uh, Shaykh uh, uh, Sumari and Shaykh uh, Damari and all the Mashaikh, Shaykh Abdelaziz Abari and the Mashaikh from all over Yemen and Shaykh Muhammad ibn Abdul Wahhab al-Wasabi rahmatullahi alayhi rahmatun wasiya the Imam after Muqbil bin Hadi al-Wad'i who was left there and all the Mashaikh that they only busy themselves with da'wah of Allah and calling people to the haq and this is what was witnessed by Shaykh Abdurrahman and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless him with Jannah to Firdaus anything I said that was correct was from Allah Azza wa Jal anything that I said that was incorrect any mistakes was from myself and the shaitan and we ask that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us of our sins and bless us all to be with the ulama of Ahl Sunnah and Jannah to Firdaus and to be with Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the shuhada and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless the shaykh to be a martyr wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiya na Muhammad and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala humiliate the criminals, those that are still living from amongst them. And, and wherever they may be, Al-Qa'idah, Boko Haram, Al-Shabaab, Jamaat al-Nasra, and any other Takfiri, ISIS, Shaitan, those who make the Muslims' blood lawful, those who kill and use their da'wah is the da'wah of killing and explosions and destruction and destruction of mankind and property and wealth and human souls may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala destroy them all and wipe them off the face of the earth so that we can begin to propagate kitab illah wa salatu rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ala minhaj kitab illah wa minhaj salatu rasul illahi sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sallam wa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ala nabiyyina muhammad wa ala alihi wa sallam